Doesn't that sound wonderful? Some great singing and the playing as well. Those are talented kids from the LA Music and Arts School. They've got a big concert coming up this Sunday. It's going to be an afternoon of music from the most popular Disney movies. All proceeds will go towards student tuition. And joining me now are Executive Director Manny Prieto and art teacher Kelly Serzak. Welcome to you both. Uh, Kelly, first of all, let's start with you. What a great program, an after school program. And look at the, the ages of these kids, they're young. Yeah. It's really great to, that they all get to have the arts in their life, and I know the arts were a huge part of my life growing up, mm -hmm. so it's great, especially with like modern cutting the arts from schools and stuff that they get to see. I was going to say, a lot of these kids probably come from schools where the art program is slashed. Totally. So, Manny, how do people find you guys? So, we've been in the same community for the last 71 years, and we're located on 3rd and Indiana, and they can reach us online on lmusart.org, mm -hmm. or they can find us on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. You hear of programs like this dedicated to improving the lives of children, providing arts education to the community in East LA. It's uh, group lessons in art, music, dance, drama. You hear about programs like this. We're looking at video right now. I always wonder, wow, why haven't I heard about this before? <clears throat> And this has been in the community, you said, since what, 1945? 1945, exactly. Wow. What can people expect when they send their kids to this type of program? They can expect one on one mentorship, uh, teaching artists like Kelly, uh, who are graduates of universities and conservatories, mm -hmm. uh, teach one on one or in group or in small group. So you get a really, really personal uh, experience with the arts. And the nice thing about this, too, is that you do provide opportunities for the kids to perform for their families, for the community and in a way help generate some money to help pay for some of the uh, tuition costs, right? Absolutely. Um, all of our music ensemble programs are tuition free and all of our tuition based programs are at affordable level so that everyone can enjoy the arts. So say a kid comes in, um, how do you know whether they're going to be a good violinist or a cellist or a dancer? I mean, how do you kind of like figure that out? Or do they tell you, I want to do this? <laughs> well, they come and tell us, but the great thing about our program is that they can do music at 9 a.m., dance at 10 a.m., art at 11, and drama at noon, so they can really explore. Kelly, what's been some of the greatest rewards for you as a teacher to see some of these kids blossom? Yeah, just seeing them go from having never, you know, danced before, never sang in a training program before to you know actually be able being able to perform a routine and build characters and make friends and learn difficult combinations and stuff is really cool yeah earlier this week we had somebody else here and we we're talking about the arts and schools and how important it is uh, for a lot of us and I know it's uh, it's important for a lot of kids to still have that art and have their creative minds a go, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the concert this weekend. The concert is at the East Los Angeles College. It will be on Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, and it's on the corner of Cesar Chavez and uh, Floral Avenue. Great. Excellent. Well, for more information about this concert uh, this Sunday and how you can get tickets, just go to kcal9.com, click Scene on TV, and help support this great program. Thanks to you both. Thank you.